in today's video. We have our mini challenge in the challenge and I'm making a page, a tag, and an embellishment using a gift bag. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and I'm here with our mini challenge in the challenge 6.3 and I am going to be working with my gift bag. This is part of the June Just Junk Journal Challenge 6, 2021. The six means is for June. Okay, so it's our mini challenge in the challenge 6.3. And I'm going to be using my, um, my gift bag and give you ideas on how to use a gift bag and then we are going to be um, also making a couple of other items. So I love that when you choose a gift bag, a lot of times it'll have ribbon or string, things like that, that you're gonna be able to use in your journal, possibly for a tassel or on you know the tops of your tags, things like that. Um, this particular bag has this like rope. I'm going to undo that to start with. And then I'm going to also take the little tag off because I can use that. And sometimes on the, you know, the gift bags that are really pretty, they'll have a beautiful gift tag to go with theirs. Okay. So I just have this little, this little goodie there. Okay. So, um, I am going to be working on something for my, um, my, my actual challenge journal. The thing about mini challenge in the challenge is you can make it for your, your challenge journal or for another project. So if you have another project that you're working on that you want to do that, then that is just fine. So I have chosen this bag. And to start with, I'm gonna go ahead and dissect it. Some of you will remember that during the Beginner's Junk Journal series last year, I made a journal out of a gift bag and it just kept, we just kept having gift bag. It was like crazy. And even after I finished the journal, I found a couple pieces of the gift bag that we used in, um, in another another project okay so i'm just going to go ahead and start by taking out the piece that is doesn't have the folded pocket on it okay so that's what i'm going to start with then i'm going to check under here sometimes these will have a cardboard piece or something and I'm going to see how hard it's going to be to remove that because this gives me more of my paper if, if I can get it off of here. Okay, so this gift bag is pretty shiny. So we are either going to be sewing or using the ATG gun to... Um, to take care of the things. I'm going to throw that away, but I've got that off of there. Okay. Um, so you still have all of this great, um, surface that you can use. I'm sorry. Um, so you have the inside pieces, okay? You have the inside pieces and you have that other side piece there. And um, this one, this particular one has a piece of cardboard in the bottom that we can just go ahead and pull out. And now you can use this because it came from your gift bag. You can use that somewhere in your journal if you wanted to. Okay, um, your choices are a gift bag, a gift box, or both. If you don't have a gift bag or a gift box, you can use any paper bag, any box, 
paper box okay so this might be a place where you get your um, your cover for your journal so possibly a cereal box okay okay so page idea so let's start with our page idea and I am going to go ahead and clean up the edge let's go ahead and start by putting this through okay if we put this through and that gives us a clean edge okay. oh good and I did okay then I'm going to come over here I'm using this clean edge okay so it it is a straight edge I call it the clean edge, but it's straight edge. Okay, and then we'll use it and turn this over this way. Now we only need, how, how tall is this? We only need eight and a half, okay? So if we go to eight and a half and we come over here, we could have a pocket, um, but I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna give it a pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the eight and a half here, okay? Put that in my pile of possible washi substitute. Okay, and so there I have that page. So the, the idea of the Just Junk Journal Challenge is to help us to, um, so this is now a little more than 12 inches. It is to help us come up with um, being able to use things that are in our home, around our home, things that would be thrown away. Um, it becomes a great challenge because it isn't always easy to make something that you like using junk. But one of the things you probably, if you buy gift bags or if you keep gift bags, they're probably ones that you, that you like, right? Possibly. Somebody does. Okay. Okay, so I, I measured that at five and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and, and press that down. And then on this side, I'm going to go a little less than five and a half. And the way that I'm going to measure is I'm measuring from the center of the spine here. And I'm going to go ahead and so I'm giving myself a flip or a border tuck on both sides is what's going to happen. Um, okay, so I'm using this here. I'm probably going to want to close that off because I don't want to have to clean that up or, you know, do anything to it. Okay, so just um, similar to what we do with the scrapbook paper and other things, when we turn it into pages, I'm going to go ahead and use the ATG gum because it is shiny. Okay. So there's that, and I have a flip over here. You might want to get out your bone folder and push that down. You can also help break the paper by folding it both ways. <coughs> Excuse me. We had helicopters going over. I couldn't start my video. <laughs> it was like really, 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 really loud. Okay, so this one's going to be a border tuck. Okay, well I can't find the um, those calendar pages, of course, pieces, because I finally have a place that I could use them. But I do have um, this wrapping paper and so I'm gonna grab and just cut around the, the two kids in the pool remember my theme is kind of friendship and 
I'm using Mary Inglebright and then other items that I have that are similar. Okay, so I'm thinking about pulling this out. Okay, or I can use this. <laughs> I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll cut cut them out of all the extra paraphernalia there. Okay, and then I'm gonna put them on this piece of sticker wrapping. Okay, just like that. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and glue them down. Okay, so there we go. Two cute little girls hanging out in the pool. It might be a it might be a girl and a boy. I don't know. It's two. They, but they look friendly. They look like friends. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and cut this. So I'm going to do this and then we'll get to our mini challenge in the challenge, okay? Um, so I need to do something to the back. Also, just because I like to make sure that backs are covered. So I'm going to go ahead and use a piece of a calendar that says that has a place for notes and you'll be able to see I think you'll be able to see the notes part from this side. So we'll go ahead and put this down. Okay. Okay, so that's down. Goes like that. Then we're going to go ahead, grab our ATG gun, and add that. Whoop. I guess we should wait for this to dry. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Yeah, the helicopters were right over our house. And, and on our and our street, but we're right by the the big inter our one stoplight intersection. And okay, so there's the there's our little flip, okay, on the flap of our page. And you know that I like to do a flip flop, and um, you know I wonder. can do I need to save this for a page I'll just put this inside here as a page just there for right now. Um, I keep picking it up and thinking I'm going to make a page out of it. I'm not. Okay, so we have this area right here. We could go ahead and do um, the same little um, things that we've been doing, but I think I want to... Oh, you know what? You know what we have? We have the cute little cute little items. Okay, so there's a, a little pail. Okay, so um, what we're going to make for our mini challenge in the challenge is we're going to make um, eight clusters. Okay, so um, using your junk and then 
Okay, so little clusters. You've seen, I've been making clusters, but we're gonna also, you can add in a set of stickers, okay? So you can add in a set of stickers here if you are um, doing the mini challenge in the challenge, and then the stickers that are left on your sheet, um, you go ahead and add them you can add them into your um, to your little kit that you're using for your journal. So, um, yeah, I'm not I'm not really super excited about that right there. Oh, but you know what? We could. Okay, we're gonna do. So we've added. Um, Technically, we've added a couple of things, but ooh, that would be cute on the sun. But I like it up there. Anyway, um, I'm gonna get my hole, my punch here. I, I have to remember that I'm not doing the daisy thing because that was yesterday that I was making daisy stuff, and I could use whatever I darn well please. <laughs> Okay, so um, this is the this is this is way too big for what I want to do here. Way, way, way too big. So I guess we'll go with the the veggie net. The veggie net. Okay, I want to put something here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come and pull it out, and then pull it so that it's kind of back in okay I don't want it to to go and be resident over there I want it to be over there and I don't see my tiny attacher there's my regular stapler okay there's that because it's on the inside, I don't want it to, to be messing with whatever else is on the inside there. And um, I almost like it behind that as well. Um, it can go here. Okay, so you can add, uh, we are making an embellish, or clusters. And your clusters need to be round, they need to have a flower, and they need to have words. And then you can also add the sticker, like we said. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and staple this on. Okay. And then I'm gonna come over here to my giant bag of words. And see if we can find something fun. Vivacious, I like that. I like vivacious. I was accused of being vivacious. That's what my, my teacher told my mom. <laughs> Julie is very vivacious. I should have saved that for my journal, huh? Oh well, there we go. Very cute, vivacious. Okay, so we're making six of them. They're round, they have words, they have flowers, and you can have a, you can, and you get to use stickers. Your stickers can be bling, okay? So your stickers can be bling. One, one sheet, one package, one whatever, and you can put it in your in your kit. Okay. Okay, I have these here. Remember when we painted them with the paintbrush or with the fingernail polish? Yeah, we can, we can paint. Remember I said you could use um, paint 
And apparently this is what I used. I was looking through my fingernail polish and it was not fingernail polish that I used on these. I used this um, Distress Paint. It's Tim Holtz Ranger Distress Paint. And I just took it across my, um, my bling and changed my bling. So I'm gonna do two rows of this. Remember, you can um, use paint, all kinds of paint, watercolors, all those things this month in the challenge. We're counting them as a, a tool this month that you can use. So um, that's gonna give me some more of those. I, I think that's the same thing, because I know that, um, you know, these are the two colors of this that I have. So, I don't know. See, I have, those are the two colors. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm painting on the bling, and that is the stickers that I'm using that I'll be able to use on and in this, um, in the journal this month. Okay, so that was my little tip there. Painting, you can also use fingernail polish for this one application, okay? So if you want to cover some bling or your sticker with fingernail polish, you can, um, you can do that this this time so that is your add-on is your sticker or bling sheet um, and that is as long as you go ahead and you make the six cluster embellishments that we are making we can paint we can paint um, okay I think we'll just use one on there. There we go. Okay, so we made a little flap on our page, two, two, and then we can decorate on the inside of here or add paper there. And so that is our page embellishment using our gift bag. And now we'll move on to our tag. And so you can get, I mean, there's so much paper on it, on a good size gift bag. We're gonna go ahead and cut down this the crease here. Okay, I am gonna cut this top off because I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with that right now. Okay, and I'm gonna turn this inside out, or right side this way, okay? And so I need to clean this up. Remember, cleaning it up is straightening it out, and I'm just breaking the paper. Okay. Okay, so, and, um, and yes, you can use your clusters on your items. They count as one item, okay? The, the whole cluster counts as one item. And here we go. And I guess we need a little bit off this side too. So we have a, a folding tag here. That's what we've got. And I'm gonna go ahead and trim the top so that it looks like a tag. Just 
cutting the corner and then taking that corner and taking it to the other side and there you go you have that then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut the hole and we're gonna put some of this in both pieces okay instead of going through it and um, through both holes we're going to go through one hole at a time and I'm making a little loop there again this is our veggie net it, the, it actually was um, the little cuties came in with this net wrapping because remember we are doing the just junk journal challenge okay so then I can pull those and trim that okay and then we'll do the same thing on the back piece okay. Make a loop put it through So the Daisy Kits will be um, in the shop today and all the Daisy Kits are 50% off. I also have put um, several other kits and they are listed in the Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group. Um, we did, I did put, uh, let's see, tiny houses and the flowers fairies and flutters digital kit is on sale for 50 percent off as a companion kit to the several daisy kits that came out today okay so there is my tag we've added that to the top that's one thing and um Okay, but our tag, this is our tag base. Remember, we need the base to be, uh, the base of our tag to be from the gift bag. Okay. this paper we used uh, one of the pieces like this as a page in the journal and I'm going to go ahead and use it in this tag here okay so I want to mark it here and here I'm going to make a little panel for the front of, of the tag okay so there's my mark mark and there's my mark my cutter is way down here okay so let's cut we're cutting down to through and put it on my mark on your mark I'm going to put this down on there and just cut just that piece out now I have this piece from my scrapbook paper pad going over there so that I'll be able to use that okay so this is going to just fit on just like that a layered panel that's gonna be really cute
Okay, so that's two things. And now if I make my, oh, it's not gonna fit on there, is it? Okay, well, what we can do is go ahead and cut this. that. Okay. And we need one for a full. It's like, what else do we have up here? Ooh, we've got wallpaper. Wallpaper. this to that. Just like that. Okay. We'll add those two together. going to be able to go on here and we need to add a flower. Do we have any more of our little Yes we do. In our sequins. We have that and sticker bling. Okay, you know what? I think we can go ahead and go on with the, the map. I've been using the map. Okay. Don't like it. That happens sometimes. That happens. Let's go ahead with Oh, we have a flower. Ha! We have a flower. That counts. You get to you have a flower on there. You get to Okay. Um flower our sticker. What's our other word? word. It's round. It's got a flower. It's got a sticker. It needs a word. North Carolina. Suddenly. Enjoyable. I like enjoyable. I actually like enjoy. That's my favorite word. I've been known to to cut off the cable to have the word enjoy. Okay, so this cluster counts as one of my items. That's two clusters I've got done so far. We're gonna, we need to make six. And, and I need to finish this uh, challenge. So at, I'm making mine um, at the same time make my oh tiny attacher is missing still I don't know where it went okay so since we're using big the big the big one we'll go we'll do it like this oh it's out of it's out of staples so we'll just put it on
left latch, that was the, the gun, the ATG gun. It fell. Okay, so this can go right there on the front. A little cluster. Okay, and our tag is finished. And if you um, wanted to or needed to, you can make a paper clip and close that. But I think that that is really fun and really easy. And if you don't have enough to um, of something that you want to use for your your punch, you can go ahead and punch like I did there. Okay, so we're going to use um, another part of the bag. So we could make. A, a paper clip out of this really really simple but remember I don't have any more paper clips until I bind the book okay so another part of the the bag is this down here and you get this on gift boxes too some of them okay if you're cutting the gift box apart we're going to go ahead and cut there and then cut across there. And what we get is we get a double. Okay. So what you can do is you can turn it around. If this is paper on the inside, I suggest turning it around so that you can write in it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and trim it down. Okay. Okay, so this is the inside crease of the gift bag. Okay, and what we're going to do is we are going to um, to glue this here. We're going to use our flying ATG gun. Start it, stop it, pull. <laughs> okay? And what I did is I left this open right here. This is open. So you can put like a little tag or something inside there if you wanted to, okay? It's gonna give you a place for something, something little to go inside. Okay? But I think it's kind of fun. And so I would go ahead and add um, lined paper um, or something along that line inside there. We have this. We have need to do, want to do. It just happens that we have that for this. So we're going to put that in there. And it gives you journaling space. Could have used the the other side as well. Okay. Okay, and then when you put it in the journal, you glue it here and here. It becomes a tuck, but it also has journaling space inside of it, so you don't lose um, journaling space. Okay, so we need to, um, to decorate it. We did add this. That counts as one. And I'm thinking...
Well, if I measure this, if I just cut this, I can go ahead and cut that. Okay, we'll just, we're gonna cut this piece all the way to the edge. Okay, so find its spot, cut it to the edge. Still have enough for that to be a page maybe. Okay, so we can go ahead and, well, you could measure it or you can just go ahead and fold it. That's gonna give you a square and this is going to give us our triangle that we want to stack on like we like we layered the tag, we're gonna layer the tuck. Layer the tag, layer the tuck. Okay. We're still on glossy, so. And you can sew all these things um, also if you wanted to. Okay, so there we go, layered, a layered, little layered, little layered tuck. Okay, so technically one, two things done to it. We need a, a word, game, achieve, captivate, almost. Firstborn. Cheers, camp, marvel, leisurely, flawless, should, grandma. So I'm gonna keep grandma and firstborn in camp. Festivity, mine, house, lavish, roommate, fellowship, understanding, gathered. I like gathered. Okay, so I'm gonna take and turn it into our washi substitute, paper washi substitute. Okay, so there's just that. I think that it should have one of these little flowers And we can glue that on because that's paper right there. If I use the side of this that's more paper than, there we go. Okay, so there's our little tuck. Remember it does have a little special pocket that we'll be able to tuck something in. I happen to have one of my tags left still from last mini challenge in the challenge. Okay. So that can stick out if you want it to. Okay. So that is my embellishment. You can make these bigger. You can make them smaller. And like I said, to put it in the journal, you just glue it here and here and you have a little tuck spot that something can go in here and you have still have a writing spot okay take care of that glue okay so we made two of our clusters and I like this punch I like this size and I like the fact that we are using up the wallpaper and now we'll go ahead and we'll cut a couple out of this. You're gonna add your flower, your word, and a sticker. And um, you're gonna make six of them. Okay, so do we have any other papers over here that Okay, you're gonna make six of them. 
So, um, I am going to make, I'll make a couple, um, but I, I've got to, I've got to get doing other, other stuff, you guys. Okay. So, um, this is going to count as my flower. So you can uh, cut a flower out of something that you have. You can, um, your flower you can pull in from somewhere else. So if you um, have some silk flowers that you wanted to use on top of the ones that we've already used, 17th Inspiration Triumph Roommate Fellowship Mellowed Key Marble Pageant Film Triumph Handsome Minimum Friendship I like friendship because we're doing friends I'm just going to go ahead and put this so it's not a super embellished one this time a circle with a flower a word sticker So I'll be able to put this into my my stack of things and turn it into something like I mean it could even go right on to here and become that paper clip that we talked about okay so yeah so that's um, that's what we're doing today you are making six of these six clusters round clusters you can use them in your journal they count as one item when you are using them like I used it on my tag and on my page it counts as one this whole thing counts as one but you need to have your flower it had a flower your sticker I'm using bling and your word okay and then for my three items, I added this to the top, I added my cluster, and I added a layer. So that is my tag. My embellishment is this little tag or corner tuck. Okay, all of this made out of the gift bag. And it has a pocket here. We have a place for journaling here. And we've layered and added a word and added a flower okay um, of course that wasn't <laughs> we get to have words okay so you get to add words into your your thing um, this wasn't our um, uh, cluster okay and then for our page we took the the full page or the full sheet of the bag I used where the top was and I've made a border tuck and then over here we have our cluster which is one and um, added the netting the sticker paper and this to be the flap okay so that is that and I'm looking at this and I'm like going oh my gosh you know what we could use that over here and we're going to Oh, we need double-sided tape. Okay, so happy Friday, everybody. Make sure you go check out the Etsy shop today for the Daisy Digitals. And um, hopefully we'll have those all together so that I can show you what they look like tomorrow. Um, if you're a VIP, you... Um, you got the color daisy colorful daisy digital 
as your gift for finishing your journal and finishing it on time and posting it. And um, so, you know what? There's these holes right here. You know me, I'm like going, okay. You can use your binding kit if you can find it. There it is. I'm like, I could. Well, here, I use my needle. Just for something a little bit different, a little bit extra. We'll go ahead and tie this. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tie it on the top, not on the bottom. Does it really matter? Let's just get it tied. little bow and I'll take the the gobbledy loop and put just a dab just a little dab there to help keep it from coming undone. But there, add that cute little, <laughs> after I was done, I, you know me, come back with a, I like that. I think that that makes it look like that was um, meant to be. There you go. So again, we have a page idea made out of a gift bag with a flop, with a flip, flop, flap, flip, flap. And we have a nice tall tag and we have our corner embellishment so there you go make sure you go watch one of these videos it really does help my channel find something to celebrate every day have an amazing day and have a great weekend I'll see you tomorrow bye 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 Lucy doesn't come outside, so she's checking things out. <laughs> Oops, she noticed the well. <laughs>